I'm Howl2010, and this is the Dead Linger. I can hardly believe it. Uh huh. It looks a lot better. Hey, back the fuck off. Back, back off. Oh, God, oh. no. <laughs> that really is unintentional. I had a whole script and everything, and it didn't call for that. That always seems to happen. Anyway, so the uh, new new patch build 007 has been released. Massive art update. And, oh, what's that? And uh, yeah, has a whole bunch of new features, and we're gonna start looking up the start talking about them. So let's start with the most obvious thing right now. The hands. So you can see, I have hands. It's something that most people wanted even before day one. And has gone through apparently a lot of interpretation before finally becoming that. What you see right now. I unfortunately don't have a uh, melee weapon because of this, and I'll talk about that later. But did my shotgun just eat? Ten rounds. That's curious. Anyway, talk about that later. So it's uh, been stated before that the hands are supposed to look pretty and dot androgynous. Can't remember if it was because they didn't want to have to make two sets of first person hands or if it was just a temporary measure. But um yeah. So, now, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of new textures, especially for this very nicely shaped, uh... Ooh, and you can even see it way over there. This, uh, whole... This feels more like a suburban neighborhood, doesn't it? I want to start exploring those houses now. But my script doesn't call for it yet. Anyways, you can see the ground textures look completely different. Before, they were just kind of, um flat green and now you got different colors and it looks like a little dirt path right there and that over there is all brown and that over there if there was a fence there I'd say the grass was greener on the other side of it what the hell is that this is something I didn't read in the uh, change log No street parking after October 31st. That's a very weird sign. But holy frick, it's a sign! And a stop sign! And a... And a different... Paved ground and... And a street sign with nothing on it! And... That's a dead zombie. Which also, as you can see, look... Whoa. Changes the, uh... Ew, that's all. It looks a little weird because, you know, shotguns being held between my fingers. But whatever. And the zombies look a little different now, too. And because I shot, they're coming in from every direction. But as I run away, as you can see the ground textures actually do change. They actually do start looking different. Um, the sky has some new textures as well. A new skybox, so you can actually see the part of it. It's a temporary measure until they got until they get their sky simulation up in the game. Oh, wow, look at that. A fire hydrant. What is this? What is this? It's a it's a power box. Jump on the wait. Wait. No, I can't jump on it because there's no there's no crouch jump. Dang. But yes, mailbox in, and what is this? This is a... Wow. <laughs> Get, oh, fuck! Ow. Hey, no. No. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. Okay. This is actually a perfect time to talk about the new house generation while I reload my shotgun. Alright, so, I have that somewhere around here, or I'd rather do not. Um, frame rates, actually. It's under frame rates. Oh, look at that. Uh, 
the frame rate is actually a lot better. I'm getting about 15 frames per second right now. That's actually not bad. I mean, this is definitely fast. It's definitely playable. And, uh, you know, it's really good. Wow. House looks amazing. It's kind of strange to the way the couches are laid out, though. And, you know, the, this tiny TV is right here. Oh, and yeah. Well, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little off track and a little off script here, but... Um, I'm supposed to be talking about the frame rates, but let's talk about objects. They've received many changes, including more realistic weight values, apparently. This is pretty light TV. Um, you can rotate them by holding X, apparently. Yep. Wow. That works really nice. And throw them by left-clicking. You can also use right mouse button to uh, rotate objects. Looks like I'm safe in this house. Anyway, uh, now throwing currently does not do any damage to zombies, but th that'll that'll change in the future. It's just the start of the imp implementation process. Also, do you see this new icon when I look over couches? Because couches, tables. And refrigerators, these kind of things. Ooh, chicken. Ooh, am I hungry? Anyway, those kind of things can now be, uh. Actually, yes, I'm not hungry. Can now be pushed and pulled. Yep. Check that out. Wow, it's taken me a long time to eat that candy bar. Come on. And you can even shove them a little bit. Apparently takes a second to grasp things though. I wonder if that's because a uh, weapon. Anyway, I was talking about frame rates earlier. Um, so the frame rates have been vastly improved. This is actually due to how buildings generate now. As you can see, they don't generate in the confusing patterns that they used to. It looks a lot more realistic. That's because before, and this was also the cause of the frame rate problems. Ooh, pretty. Um, well, getting a little low there. Anyway, it's because before, houses were being generated with wall modules, and now it's more of a room. Oh, I forgot to hide this. It's now of a, more of a room module system. Ooh, look at all, all the textures so pretty now. The ground, the walls. Saying this feels like one hell of a high class house. So what's in here? Yeah, so you shouldn't get uh, any of that. Uh, you know, opening a door to find a bathroom. <laughs> oh, th that was too. That was too funny. That. That that was too funny. You, well, at least you're not like opening a outer front door that opens into a bathroom that opens into another bathroom. <laughs> another bathroom. What the hell? Come on, come on, World Gen. Support my freaking my arguments here. My talking. Don't just keep throwing bathrooms in front of me. Jeez. Now screw you, house. Bad house. Bad. Hmm. Jumping apparently has that same. Whoa. What you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <coughs> oh, what the? Oh God! Where the hell did you come from, you you bastard? Ouch. That hurt. And apparently, you can also shoot through windows. But the windows don't actually break. I'm gonna p pick up this uh, cleaver for uh, future. While I'm in here, damn it! Look at that. It's got the white box. I don't like that. Anyway, while I am in here, and 
damn, I can't fit my, uh, can't fit my shotgun in here. Just have to drop it for now. Alright, just testing out the, uh, cleaver. Anyway, so, backpacks. As you see now, the inventory is much smaller. That's because backpacks, back backpacks have now been implemented. You can um, find currently find a small or a medium backpack. Small is about the size that we had before. Medium is a bit bigger, I think twice as big. Large, which is not yet implemented, would be this whole grid here. The whole area. I not found a backpack yet, so I do not know how that exactly works out. But this is supposed to simulate pockets. I can carry you know, apparently a cleaver and two boxes of 12 gauge shotgun shells. But I can't just put a put a double barrel shotgun in my pockets. Anyway, while I'm here back to objects, apparently you can hit them now. Yep. Amazing. I like that. I enjoy that. That is I find that very enjoyable. Anyway, so <laughs> I am way off the script here. It was supposed to be scripted. I wrote up, spent hours writing up a huge script, and now it's just nothing. Damn it! Jeez, they're freaking everywhere. Okay, okay. Let's try to uh, run for my life and get back on script. Um, let's see here. Time of day. Apparently, the... Oh, shit. I'm heading the wrong way. I should be heading that way. Anyway, time of day will now save when you quit. So, theoretically, when you quit in the night, it will still be night when you restart. It's not night for me right now, though, so, uh... I can't test that out at the moment, but when it becomes night, I will, uh... Test that out. Sun is... Yeah, sun is still moving across the, uh, sky. Damn it. Ah, jeez, I'm running so slow. Yep, my lungs are out. I'm out of lungs. Oh, God. Screw you. Oh, jeez. Back off. Back off and doing a video. Catch notes video. So I don't need you bothering me right now. Anyway... It's on to compasses. So you can see in the top right hand corner of my screen, there you can see it better now, you can see a compass. It tells you approximately where, in, where you are in the world. Later on it will be replaced by an actual in-game compass or maps and other things, but right now it's implemented so you can just find your way around. I think it's a good interim solution. But uh, other people might might have differing opinions. Whatever, I just realized that I've like permanently left my shotgun back and am now equipped with a wooden board. Hmm. Can't really see the uh, hands, but it's a new animation for swinging. It's a nice animation. Anyway. So yes, textures, animations, very southern back end stuff. There's a lot of change here. Uh, I, I can't go through it all because there really is massive amounts. You've already seen a lot and supposedly there's more th freaking hell, look at that, look at that, look at that. First check behind me, make sure I'm not about to die. Um so yes, while I'm running to look at this telephone pole, which looks awesome. So, wow, and it also generates down there in that way. It's awesome. Now it just needs telephone lines. And, jeez, wow, the signs and these boxes and all this other stuff just all over the place. It looks also amazing. That's part of the new art additions stuff like that. Ah, uh, getting tired. Right now. Ooh, farm's over there. 
anyway. So yes, there's just there's just all sorts of animations and and art and textures and other just stuff. You'll have to just find out when you play because it's really just too much for me to uh to just point it all out right here. Don't have that kind of time. <clears throat> Anyway, as you saw, when I was killing those zombies, knockback now works as intended. Before it didn't, now it's been rectified. So, uh, yeah, that's some pretty, that's some pretty good stuff there. And, as you see, I'm heading towards that farm. It'll probably take a while, so... So I'm going to, uh, do a little bit of a cutaway here just uh yeah it'll take me the time it will take to run there but for you it'll be near instantaneous so stay tuned so now i'm on the outskirts of farmland to talk about the farmland itself jeez a frick of course there's a zombie but you know two by four to the side of the head takes care of that anyway farmlands have uh also received changes now they are bigger the farmland itself is more spread out looks like I'm running into a wheat farm right now and as you can see there are actually roads that move through the farm lines a little bit more realistically I mean normally they're dirt roads that move through farm lines but no, I suppose in the that's just farm lines around here but um yeah so farm lines the the uh the stuff they grow, gee, why can't why, why is my brain just not working right now? The stuff they grow is now spread out more. I mean, it's still uh, still like this. It's still pretty dense, but there's more. Each farm grows more stuff, and uh, as you can see, I, is that farmhouse, farmland? Or I'm, yeah, farmland, barn, silo, farmhouse, telephone pole. But it's really, it's really shaping up now. Now all you need is really a, a city, and it'll look pretty, just, well, pretty. Ooh, and it looks like the, uh, the, the barns themselves have gotten some new textures that actually look pretty amazing. And, while I'm here, take a look at this. Hey, bales. Strange noise for just setting down a hay bale, but yeah, I'm not gonna complain at this stage. But yeah, hay bale wall. Kind of like in my uh. Oh wait, I didn't do that in the one I'm recording. Boom. Impenetrable hay bale wall. Well, not so impenetrable. <laughs> oh boy, that's just amazing. That's just. That's bloody amazing. I, I love this. I love this. I said it before. We need some kind of TDL version of Gmod. But in, in the future. In the future. Anyway. So yes. Barns and farmland have received some pretty substantial change. Well, no, I suppose they're not entirely substantial. Oh. Nice. Ooh, corn! 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 Look at that! Indestructible corn! Yum! I love corn on the cob. Corn off the cob, not so much, but corn on the cob's really good. And now this... This cabbage here, which tooltip isn't showing up for me. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Indestructible cabbage. These are not indestructible, though. This weird. What? 12 gauge bird shot? I'd rather have buck shot. Anyway. So, after I'm finished eating this really crunchy cabbage. Uh. Peeking out here. See if I can see the next feature. I think I will. Ooh, what's that over there? I think that's a tree right there in the distance. Right there. Actually, um, here, drop that, drop 
that. Craft that. Pick up that. Pick up the rifle. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, that's just a tree. Amazing, too. Alright. So, reload. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. Alright. Hit all. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Iron sights now. Any. Whoa! Oh, yes. Fall damage is not implemented yet. So. No, that's good. And that's because of, uh, actual bug with the ladders. Which, by the way, did you see how easy it was to climb up that ladder now? And how I can run up the ladder? Ooh, that's. I like that. Oh, come on. The tops of ladders are still a bit buggy, apparently, but. But, you know, I'm not worried. Oh, wait. See. There we go. There. I've got my, uh. Two before in my inventory. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Got my corn. And. On to the next big thing that they have implemented. Wow, this is really nice. <laughs> Still holding it weird when it crouched, though. But, yeah, it's, it's looking really nice. This is really shaping up. Anyway, apparently there is... I'm heading north, because there's apparently something very interesting. Two kilometers to the north of spawn. So, uh... I'll see you when I... When I when I get there, hmm. Is is there anything over there? Is that what the hell is that? Is that possible? As soon as I can get out of this freaking wheat, I think that may be what I've been searching for. Well, I mean, it's pretty damn obvious. Everyone who's watching this video already knows what I'm searching for because it's labeled on the top left corner of the screen. But, so I can pretend there's mystery, and that is it. That's freaking amazing. Alright, so, I'm going to be heading there. It's way out in the forest. So, I will see you when I... Jeez. Jeez, freaking zombies. I'll see you when I when I get there. Oh, also, while I'm, while I'm still here, when I turned off wraps, I was getting about 23, 24 frames a second. So, oh shit. No. <coughs> shit. Reload. 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 Oh, thank God. Another reload. So it's freaking runners. These guys aren't, aren't very much trouble at all. But when the runners... Corner man. Zombies aren't supposed to work together, but they really feel like they do. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> nice one. But freaking when the runners, uh, runners will make you run into a corner trying to get away from them. And then when you climb out of your hidey hole, there's just a massive horde of uh, walkers. Damn, all these runners. That was close. Anyway, so, yeah, I'll see you when I'm at the prison gates. Got him. Anyway, so here we are. One of the most requested. Ooh. Is that a guard? I almost want to shoot him, but I don't want to attract any more attention. Anyway, one of the most requested buildings, because of The Walking Dead, of course, a prison. A little bit of a terrain generation uh, boo boo here. But. <laughs> Whoa. And I just kind of... Wa ho! Ho! Calm down. Whoa. That guy's freaking out on me. He's freaking out. Anyway. Let's see. Yes, the prison... Ah! Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, God, no. Oh, damn it. Ah! God. Alright, so it's... As you saw, it's the Eliza's... Or the Eli Elijah Thompson... Oh, fuck. Uh, prison? Penitentiary? Whatever? <laughs> Ah, God damn it! Damn it! No, don't! Damn! Shit! Got it! Oh, thank God! Anyway, yes, 
Eliza. Oh, fucking ah. hell, dude. Ah. Oh god, I'm surrounded. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta make it inside. Oh, thank God you can open every door in the. What? No. Bad door. Bad. Don't open. And oh shit. Heh. Well, I won't have to worry about him for a while. Anyway, so as you saw, it was called the Eli Elijah or Elizas. Um, just like let me find the Elias Thompson. It's named after one of the wealthy Kickstarter backers who were able to back uh, a bunch. Ooh, rotten banana. And a book. Anyway, yes. So the prison is named after one of the Kickstarter backers. Man, this is... Hard to believe this is randomly generated. <laughs> anyway. So... Yeah, prison. M most requested building named after one of the Kickstarter backers. Oh. Looks pretty freaking amazing. I'm going to head inside now, or at least try to. And, uh, explore the interiors. Oh, okay. God. God. <coughs> Ow. No. Okay. Okay. I, I can make it. I can make it. Almost there. Almost there. Um, one of the things that I noticed when I was uh, watching the trailer for it before is it didn't look very modern. Yeah, it actually doesn't. I I'm not so certain. Alright, gotta push. Come on. Push. Push or pull. I don't, I don't care. I don't care which just get the freaking desk in front of the door. Oh boy, it's already starting to feel like a like a real zombie game. Anyway. <coughs> Holy <coughs> fucking hell! <coughs> ah, I'm dying! Why am I dying? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. oh that was horrifying! Uh, uh, that was horrible! Oh my god, that was just terrible. That zombie. Freaking zombie. You want some too? There. Anyway. Yeah, so it looks a like a rather old style prison. I guess it does in fact look like one that would have been established in 1976. So, that actually makes sense. My... Hey. Hey, damn. I wonder if I can even actually shoot through these. No, it doesn't actually look like I can shoot through the chain link fence. Anyway, so yeah, one of my major, um, whoa. One of my major quick, oh, a backpack. Oh, ow. Damn. It's a medium sized backpack. So that is what medium sized backpack looks like. And that's the size of medium sized inventory. Whoa. You know what? This is pretty freaking terrifying, this prison. I definitely wouldn't. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I definitely wouldn't try and clear this out and make use of it as a, uh. as a base. Damn. I don't think I can shoot through that steel bar. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Anyway, so yeah, my previous criticism is now rescinded, although that does sound... Oh, crap. Wrong button. Don't like how these doors open, but... You know, the doors, doors open. It's pretty nice. And the fact that this is all... So I wonder exactly how randomly generating it is. Also, note on the ground. Strange... Strange, um... <coughs> Holy... God, what, what, what... I, I, what the hell? Why was I dying? Was I being attacked through the wall? Okay, okay. Few, few, um, few questions. I wonder what this note is. What the hell? What does that say? Block rules? Oh, that's nice. Anyway. So yeah, toilet in a sink. And just two random shelves. 
And the door is open a little weird. And sound a little weird when opening. Wow. I guess they all tried to, um, hide in the prison. And so did they. That guy must have been a prisoner right there. These guys tried to lock themselves in to keep themselves safe, but one of them must have been, uh, bit. And within 24 hours, they turned. Man, this is just such an amazing build. It, oh, ah, God. No, no. Ah. Crap, come on, reload, reload. Oh, jeez. Jesus, that was scary. Anyway. Wow. This is amazing. You know what? Looking at these, uh... Looking at these? I think... I think it would be nice if you could use those as a weapon. I suppose you can, actually. Just like that. Not very effective. Ooh, the... Wow, there's just so much interesting stuff around here. I'm getting distracted. Ooh! Ooh! Is anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, first gotta make sure no zombies following me. Anyway, yeah. Can I, can I make it? Can I make it? Ah, uh, nope. Oh, jeez. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not playing, I'm not playing a game of one on run right now. Not up there. <coughs> huh. he, he didn't like that I didn't want to play one on one with him. Oh shit, I'm out of it. Anyway, it's really, this game is really shaping up. New features, and I mean, it wasn't suggested that there'd be more to do in this, uh, at least I don't remember it being suggested, but I mean, come on, just look at this. Look at this. You could, you could play, oh, can I make, ah. You could almost play a, uh, game of basketball you, well you could play horse you could almost play horse let's see can I, can I let, I'll try it damn it gonna try it from half court can I make it ah uh, nope well I'm not very good at basketball anyway well, it looks like the sun's about to set I will um so I'll actually check out that that uh thing I was talking about earlier that night uh, being that time of day is saved when you quit. Actually, I could just do that right now because it does look a lot different. So I'm going to quit now and I'll uh, restart and we'll see what it's like. I'm actually going to hit disconnect. Yeah, I'd like to disconnect. All right, restarting solo mode. Let's see what happens. This, whoa, whoa, that was weird. Anyway, I'm going to actually cut out this portion because loading time is pretty long. Well, that was weird. You didn't see it because I hit, uh, or you probably saw the very end of it because I hit F9 when, uh, like, right when I hit the ground. But it actually started up in the air, about on top of that fence right there. And yes, it actually looks like it does, uh, time of day does save. Also, notice the shadow, the tree, it's actually shadowing out this portion of the fence. Man, there's still a lot of improvements that do need to be made, but I mean, this is really shaping up. People were already talking before about how, uh, I mean, in, in previous build about how, how, sh how much it's shaping up, and, man! Quiet down, zombies. Jeez. Anyway, yeah, people are already talking about how, in previous builds how it's actually starting to look a lot better and look more, uh, more, more like a true, true zombie game, something you could play for a while. But the tractors, well, they only have to look as far as this. I mean, this is a very amazing build. Th this is something you can actually play for a long time. I'm actually having to worry about ammo and 
and backpacks and and zombies everywhere and and barricading the doors. Remember, I barricaded that. And uh, yeah, so it's very very amazing. Whoa, what the hell? Actually, did I even go in there? I want to go in that. Come on, let me run. Let me run. Oh yes, the doors still behave like wooden doors, even these steel ones. So, yeah, that that's not fixed yet. It this must be the door for that. For that. Point. The uh, oh. what, ow. Damn. Ouch. Come on. Okay, they can. Hit Anyway, so, yeah, this has been Hal2010 talking about this very awesome latest patch, patch 007. Um, if you bought the Dead Linger already, then just run it and it will automatically uh, install this patch with all this awesomeness. <clears throat> if you didn't, a link to buy it is in, in the description. Also visit the forums, which is also in the description. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this new... Well, it was scripted. I did try and script this, but the awesomeness caused me to go off script many times. So, um... <laughs> yeah, th thanks for watching. And... Linger on, survivors. <laughs>